My name is Noelle Bolin. I'm a research fishery biologist for the National Marine Fisheries Service in San Diego. Each time we stop, we're on station, and on station we deploy and retrieve the CTD. We have deck crew as well as scientists to deploy the CTD, and then we have winch operators that lift the CTD, and we all work as a team to put it in the water. We put the CTD in the water, and then the CTD operator, which is a scientist, goes and looks at the computer. The computer, it gives a readout of the sensors that are on the CTD, and it produces a profile. And the profile gives the salinity content, oxygen content, and the uh, temperature, and a number of other things, depending on what the scientists are looking for. Now, with that profile, you also see the depth. And at each depth, the desired depth, you can collect water. The CTD operator then trips a bottle or fires it, and that collects the water at that depth. And then when the CTD comes back aboard, you can sample it. You open the bottles, and then you get the water from these depths. Then the water is collected, and then the bottles are put, brought inside for further sampling and processing. The chlorophyll samples are put through a manifold, and the chlorophyll is extracted. The extractions are then later analyzed to see the actual chlorophyll content, which gives us an indication of the phytoplankton in the water. We also collect nutrient samples. And again, it's really important that we understand the nutrients that are in the water so that we understand how the whole life cycle is working. After the CTD, we do net toes. Our first net toe is called a calvet. It is a vertical toe that we use to sample the upper water column down to 70 meters below the hole. This net collects fish eggs. After the calvet is completed, we put in our bongo net. The bongo net, we call a bongo because it looks like a pair of bongo drums. It's an oblique toe that we put down to 300 meters of wire out at a 45 degree angle, which is equivalent to 212 meters down below the hole. This net collects fish larvae, plankton, and fish eggs. After the calvet and the bongo toes are completed, we collect the samples by washing down the nets, we bring them inside, and we preserve them. We like to call it pickling because we put a preservative in there. After these are pickled or preserved, we take them back to the lab and analyze them by identifying all the species and organisms that are in there. 